So friends, in today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make uh, beef croquettes. For that, uh, what I've taken is uh, 250 grams of uh, mince, beef mince. One potato medium size, which I've cut in small dice and kept. Salt is to taste. Sugar is one teaspoon. Vinegar is one tablespoon. Tomato, which is one medium size chopped and kept, two green chili slit and kept, two red onion chopped, roughly chopped and kept, and uh, cilantro, which is uh, fresh coriander, quarter bunch, one cup. For the grinding ingredients, what I need is 10 clove of uh, garlic, one inch of uh, ginger, half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, eight black peppercorns of each, half inch of uh, cinnamon stick and uh, six of uh, cloves. So let's get this process going. First, what, what we need to do is we'll apply salt for the mince and vinegar. We'll mix this and keep it. Now the second step is we will I will grind all the ingredients which is in the plate: garlic, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, peppercorn, turmeric powder, and cumin. Just adding a little bit of water, the required amount of water to make a fine paste. So this I will make it to a fine paste. I've added a little bit of water just to make the paste. So now we'll start with the cooking process. My pan is already hot. I will add oil to this in order to saute the ingredients. First we'll add chopped onions. Once the onions are sauteed, add the tomato and chili and saute it for a while now we have to add mint Once this is mixed well, you have to add masala. We will pass water to this jar and we will add The amount of water. And at this point you have to cover it and cook this for 20 minutes. Let it simmer for 20 minutes. So friends, it's been already 20 minutes for this. Now what we'll do is we'll add sugar, potatoes and cilantro. Mix this first and then 
let it simmer till it becomes dry and potatoes are well cooked. I checked this out, this is completely dried out after simmering it for a while. Potatoes are also well cooked. I will turn off the gas and uh, leave it for a while. Let it cool down and then we'll blend this mixture in a blender jar roughly. And then we'll add the binding agent egg and breadcrumb. And to coat, we need semolina. This means I uh, blend it in a blender jar. I need is one egg and bread crumb which is half a cup. We'll make this and we'll set it aside. We'll keep it in the fridge for at least an hour to get a better binding. Check the texture. Later it will become more dry once semolina start to absorb all the moisture it will start to get dry so the, for that reason we'll keep this at least an hour in the fridge so guys check this out after keeping it in the fridge for one hour this became dry and it's a perfect mixture check the texture now start to give it them in shape for that i need semolina so you have to take a small portion, make a round, tight ball, roll it out in uh, semolina and then give shape. This is how it should be. One more will do. This is our choice. Guys, check this out. These are now ready to fry. When soil is already hot, we'll start to fry this. These are now ready. We'll remove this in a plate. So friends check this out, this is the final outcome of uh, beef croquette, look how nice they look after frying. This is how exactly it should be, follow each and every step and you will get it right at home. So please do like, share and subscribe if you like the video and share it with your friends as well. Stay home, stay blessed and take care of yourself.